the blues, y'all. I got the blues. The streak's over. It's done. All right, man, let's take this shit off, man. Let's talk about this shit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all see me with the Brock Lesnar and, you know, this shit right here. But, uh, yeah, let's talk about this, all right? Now, I'm going to let y'all know right now, I'm not a Brock Lesnar fan. And I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to rant about the streak ending and all that stuff like that. We're going to talk about this, okay? Now, as we all know, y'all guys, if y'all guys haven't seen my uh, first video with the WrestleMania, uh, just me talking about my thoughts on WrestleMania or whatnot, you can go back and watch that. I thank y'all for tuning in to this one. But you have not liked me and my brother's Facebook page. Get your ass over there and like the page. All right. We all know the streak came to an end last night. Uh, Brock Lesnar ended the streak. And it sent everybody into a fucking uproar everybody was pissed off including myself I was a little mad that's why I didn't post this video last night I had to kind of kick back watch other people's videos and kind of calm down you know what I'm saying like I mean I wasn't like mad like throwing shit but I'd say shocked I think pretty much most of us were at a state of like you did one or two things last night. When you seen the three, you won cussed? Or you just paused and you was like, you did one of those two. Or you did both. You know what I'm saying? And or, or you said the you said Stone Cold's favorite catchphrase. What? You did one, so that's three. You did one of those three things. Or all of them. So, um, that was, I seen my boy uh, Chase, shout out to Chase. You know, he does a lot of uh, custom uh, sneakers and stuff like that. He made a comment on Instagram, I seen, and it was saying that after that three count, he just seen his whole childhood just flash right in front of him. For most people who have been a part of this streak, which is most wrestling fans, I don't care, I'm not talking to Wrestle, I'm talking to all the people who have witnessed any part of this streak. You know what I'm saying? And because I know some of the guys, they'll get out here and they well, you didn't see it for, you know. I'm one of the guys that's seen it from the first match. From Superfly, Jimmy Snuka, all the way through. I may didn't catch every WrestleMania, but I was, I seen it from the first one. You know what I'm saying? Up till last night. So, to watch that, it was like, that's really an end of an era. Like the the streak was all all the people that are like are into the attitude era and stuff like that. That really was all we had left was the streak. And that's gone. <laughs> it's over with, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You have now you're looking at like a lot of these ruthless aggression guys that are like the old school guys now. You know what I'm saying? Like Pretty much most of the attitude there is gone. If you watch my other my, my previous video, I talked about how the attitude era just looked terrible last night. You know what I'm saying? The hardest era ever, and they looked it bad last night. You know what I'm saying? But on to this match. You know, it was a lot of speculation. People saying that it wasn't supposed to happen. People saying that it was, you know, that it, you know. It you know it it was supposed to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. This that and the third. The thing is, fact of the matter is that it happened. You know what I'm saying? And I think most people are not upset about the streak ending. It's more about who did it. You got Brock Lesnar, a part timer. This that and the third. You know or whatever. And he was the one to end the streak. And I think that's why everybody is so in an uproar. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm sitting here and I got on a Brock shirt, but like I, you know, you guys follow me on Facebook or even on here, you know, no, I'm not a Brock Lesnar fan. I'm a WWE fan. I like WWE shirts. So, you know what I'm saying? For, for like I said, like I say, for half off, I'll wear it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, uh, 
you know, it was just a surreal moment for all of us who have, you know, have witnessed this whole thing. Like I said, even if you, you know, just been, you know, maybe watched a few of, you know, the Undertaker's matches at, you know, at WrestleMania or whatnot, but, you know, and I know some people have, you know, well, is it that serious? Like, really, y'all, when it, when it first happened, I was like, okay, but as time more went along in the, you know, in the end of the event and toward the end of the night, like, it really started to hit me, like, the streak is over, like, it really bothered me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, as a as a fan, it really bothered me, you know, and I'm like, man, you know, but you got to look at it this way, guys. The Undertaker, I know we all would have wanted to watch you under the street go to 50 and 0, you know what I'm saying? But it had to come to an end. I do agree, and I and I will say, yes, I think the timing was, was wrong. I just, I, I don't agree with it ending with Brock Lesnar. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Not whatsoever. You know, me personally, it's two times the streak I think it should have ended. It should have ended first time he faced Shawn Michaels, and then they should have had a rematch the following year. Or when uh, him and Triple H fought the second time. When those guys were all at the top of the stage and they had that moment, I think that should have been it. You know, I think that should have been, the other should have just left the street with that, or, you know, or whatever, you know. I'm about to turn real hillish right here, okay, for you guys. Y'all guys with this CM Punk, and, and I am a CM Punk fan. I have his gear, I, I am a huge CM Punk fan. But this guy cannot do everything, y'all. Like, I, I've read so many comments where they said it should have ended with CM Punk. Or, you know, or this, that, and the third. And CM Punk should have ended the streak. Look, y'all want CM Punk to be champion. Y'all want him to end the streak. Y'all want him to, to, you know, to come back next year and fight Daniel Bryan. Like, look, man, the guy has showed that he doesn't really give a shit about us, okay? You know what I'm saying? And even though he, he did leave the way he left, you know what I'm saying? I do still have respect for CM Punk's crap. You know what I'm saying? But... People chanting this man, you know, all through every, when it's something that comes up on the show that they don't like, CM Punk, all of that stuff, and, and just thinking that he can just do the, the whole WWE by himself, please, we as wrestling fans, we gotta stop this shit, we gotta move on, man, if he comes back, he comes back, but we gotta move on, you know what I'm saying, it's the same thing like with the whole thing with the street, if you're a true WWE fan, which, like I am, we have to move on now. You know what I'm saying? You do. I'm, like I said, I'm one I didn't, you know, back to the street. I'm one I didn't want to see it in. You know, but, like I said, I just think that they should have ended it earlier. And I gave y'all two examples already when I think that they should have ended the street. You know, a lot of people, like I said, I just really think that a lot of people are upset that it was Brock that did it. You know what I'm saying? And, and at the time, I mean, I seen y'all guys did not, you know, now most of y'all have did watch WrestleMania, but Taker really looked not like himself. You know what I'm saying? At, at, I mean, at all. The match, you know, too. That's another reason that other you know people are upset. The match was, you know, I watched Danny's video, and you know, he gave he gave it, you know, some some good credit. I'm not. The match was fucking whack to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was... I don't know. I, I guess maybe because we expect more from The Undertaker when he's in his matches. But but Danny did make a good point. And he said, you know, that Brock is not what he used to be. Undertaker's just old. So, I mean, what can you expect? But, I mean, that's why I say I think the streak should have ended a long time ago. Because, I mean, Undertaker's not getting any, any you know... Uh, younger man you know and then if you've been following it today like man this man suffered a, a concussion and i think something with his shoulder and something with his leg and all this stuff you know what i'm saying after last night so i mean his body man y'all gotta think you know y'all gotta think this man's been wrestling 20 years long longer than that you know what i'm saying you it's not just wwe wrestlemania 
You know what I'm saying? He was wrestling in Japan. He was wrestling, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, his body, man, is, you know, but I know it's also said that, you know, that he handpicked Brock to, to end it. I, I believe that in a way, but if he did pick, handpick Brock, ah, that was the wrong guy. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I just think it was the wrong guy. That's, that's my whole issue with it. But i tell you one thing. A lot of people were saying too, well, Vince McMahon, you know, he shouldn't have did this and this, that, and the third. And this was wrong of the WWE. Technically, the motherfuckers are smart. Real smart. And I'm going to tell you why. Because that shit brought people who hadn't watched wrestling in years I seen videos, people, and they were saying in their videos that they ain't, they haven't watched wrestling in years, and they were talking about the street. So you know what that means? Raw's ratings tonight are gonna be through the freaking roof. Everybody's gonna be watching Raw tonight. So, just ladies, if you're trying to demand some of that, that nigga nigga between seven and ten. You might want to wait because you don't want to get your feelings hurt. Okay, that's just what I'm saying. I, I, you know, but everybody's talking. Everybody's, we all talk. That's what we're talking about. If, if the thing is, and, and I say this too, it really, I look at it this way too. As WWE fans, regardless of what the outcome of that match was last night, we still would have had something to say about it. We still would have been complaining about it. Cause we, if the Undertaker would have won, we've been talking about how old that 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 how old he looked in the ring. He need to hang it up. He need to give it up, and, and all this stuff. That's what we would have been complaining about. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we've been talking about. Oh, he needs to give up the streak. He just needs to let go. This, that, and third. He's going to another. Okay, whatever. That's a done deal. Brock Lesnar won, and that got everybody buzzing, including myself. Everybody. They shocked everyone. And and the kid behind the the kid behind the camera, I think that's his name. Kid behind the camera, the fat guy behind the camera, one of the two, he made a good point too. When is the last time that in wrestling have we had a shocking moment like that? How long has it been? Maybe when Hulk Hogan joined the NWO? That's the last time, I mean, that moment, they knew it was happening, you know what I'm saying? When you see this guy's face like this. They knew what was going to happen. The crowd, you could probably hear a fucking pin drop in that motherfucker. And every, I mean, everybody was shocked. Everybody, even, and, and I'll say this too, and I, I'm not lying, and then when my brother probably does his video, he'll tell you. My brother was actually going for Brock. That's who he picked to win the match. But it was one of those things like, yeah, I'm going to pick Brock, but I don't really think he's going to win, but I'm going to go with him anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, it was one, because he's a Brock Lesnar fan, so, you know, and he's, because of, he's a Paul Heyman guy. You know what I'm saying? But, and for me, that's really what it is. Oh my God. That's the reason why I don't really want to watch Raw tonight. Is because, oh my God, Paul Heyman is going to come out and talk so much fucking shit tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, oh Lord. I hope it's like the first segment or something, man. Because that way they can do it and get it out of the way. Because, you know, he's going to come out. As my brother would say, coming out, Brock Lesnar. You know, my brother says, it, when he does it that way, it sounds like he's gargling Brock's balls or something so <laughs> so you know I hope that segment is first but you know but that's my thing man I, I don't really think that it you know we all knew the streak was going to come to an end sooner or later I just don't think we were prepared for it to come to an end this year um, I do think that The Undertaker is you know I think that's it you know one of the best if not the best Y'all guys watch my uh, Superstar Legends uh, vid. You know, I think The Undertaker is the number one legend ever. 
in uh, WWE. I know I say Triple H is my favorite, and Ultimate Warrior is one of my favorite, but so far as what's been accomplished in the business, and longevity, and you know, able to have the crowd in the palm of your hand, and have them do pretty much whatever you want, it's only like three guys that could do that. And that's uh, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, and The Undertaker. Those are like the only guys. Oh, and The Rock. I, I got to give it to him on that because The Rock can do that too. Uh, but, yeah, man, that's my take, man, on the streak. Like I said, I'm, <laughs> I'm just as bothered as everybody else, you know, that didn't want to see it end. You know what I'm saying? But we, we had to see it come to an end. You know, I was really, I really, I'm not gonna lie, I was really anticipating uh, WrestleMania 31 because I thought Steam was gonna come, and I thought him and the Undertaker was gonna fight for uh, at WrestleMania 31. I think that would have been, even if they were gonna end it, I think that would have been awesome. But y'all guys leave it in the comments too and let me know, like, what if Steam comes back now and he wants to still face the Undertaker? Would would you even be excited for that? Because I know I wouldn't. You know. They, yeah, if they would have did it years ago for something, then maybe, but I wouldn't be excited for it now, you know, so, we'll see, man, but hopefully these videos got up before Raw, you guys got to watch them or whatnot, but if you didn't, then, you know, after Raw, Tuesday, whenever you got a chance to watch them, but I want to thank you guys once again, it's your boy HH the Great, man, I'm out, peace. <laughs>